Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Before we dive into today's video, please take a moment to click on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On the Discovery Channel series Gold Rush, Mitch Blaschke is an essential member of Parker Schnabel's crew. The 34-year-old with a mechanical bent is quick to identify, assess, and devise solutions for issues. There are instances when operating heavy machinery under pressure calls for rapid thought. Fans now question if he ought to start his own mining company. Parker Schnabel appears to be the kind of guy who will take good care of his important crew members. Mitch receives a respectable take-home salary for his work on the mining operation, presumably as his right-hand man, and he ought to, because, at times, it seems like Parker is asking for the impossibly difficult thing from him. Nevertheless, he stands up and performs admirably, which helps the whole thing. Mitch Blaschke has no problem working with any skilled employees. In fact, cooperation between himself, Pascal Castungue Lambert, and Tatiana Costa helped with the sluice problem. It's a hard job, and there are setbacks. However, reliable Mitch is always willing to go in and get the job done. So some Discovery fans wonder why he doesn't go on his own and make more money. On Reddit, Discovery Channel viewers talked about the possibility that Parker's right-hand man might go it alone one day. The OP said that he's learned plenty of things about mining. I hope Parker understands what a great asset he has with Mitch. The guy was originally a mechanic, and he seems like he can fix anything, but he's a darn good operator as well. He seems to have learned so much as a miner. I am wondering if it ever runs through his head to do like Rick did and start off on his own. I think a lot of experienced guys like Tyson and Brennan would join him and make a great team. In the comments, most people seemed against the idea of Mitch Blash going into mining for himself. Bear in mind that many Gold Rush viewers have experience in mining as well. So their opinions count. Some people talked about Brennan Ruwalt who jumped across to Rick Ness. That didn't seem to be a good decision. Meanwhile, others talked about the financial stress of going it alone. I have no doubt that Mitch could go on his own and be successful. I don't think he wants to, and I don't think he would enjoy running his own operation. Mitch is a guy who likes working, getting stuff done, identifying the problem and solving it. I think that is what he gets his satisfaction from. Mitch seems to be extremely well compensated. I'm not sure if it's Twitter or Insta he is on, but he has multiple pricey race cars, a classic muscle car that isn't cheap and seems to live a good life. He might go it alone eventually, but he would probably have to accept a pay decrease for at least a few years. Parker undoubtedly pays him more than what is necessary since, as a business owner, you eventually have to look out for your finest employees in order to keep them around. In your opinion, what is Mitch Blaschke worth? Do you believe he will simply continue using what he has? He does not have to perform all the other compliance tasks in order to make a good living. Additionally, he is not required to haggle over any mining contract terms. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and return frequently for more Gold Rush news.